season as we welcome you to a fantastic afternoon of college football as the Georgia Bulldogs make their way inside Sanford Stadium here in Athens, Georgia. As we welcome you to SEC Network Football presented by Allstate. The Georgia Bulldogs with a couple of games left on the regular season slate, their second straight home game. They have already finished up SEC play, trying to stretch their home winning streak to an FBS current streak of 30 consecutive wins. Nobody's, they might be able to at least tie that record by the end of this regular season. As Georgia will kick it off to UMass. Dogs won the toss, they deferred, so. The Minutemen will have the opening possession of the game. Caitlin John stays in at running back. They will keep it with the quarterback. Hankston turns the corner. He's in Georgia territory all the way down inside the 35-yard line. Fake the toss sweet inside handoff. That'll be close to the line again. Let's see where they spot it. Completed 55% of his 36 pass attempts. Second down and five. Another inside handoff. Big run inside the five. Down to the four yard line goes CJ Hester. That's it. First down and goal from the four. Inside handoff again. Has allowed UMass to knock on the door from the one yard line. Another handoff. Do they get in? There it is. Touchdown, UMass. What an opening drive for the Minutemen. Come in to tempt the point after. Perhaps they're taking a closer look to see this ball did pretty. And he'll hammer that one. I'm sure that makes him feel good. UMass. At the end. Again, they'll go with Frazier. Left side, he'll have a first down. Brought down. How the player's going to respond from day to day, and especially to try and project out a week. I mean, it's very sensitive. But like you said, you got guys like Nate Frazier. If they can hold up and get some experience, you got Chauncey Bowens as, as well, and try and get them some, some burn and get them some experience. Lawson lucky. Much this season. Yeah, averaging 292 through the air as a team. Pressure comes. Beck avoids the sack. Flags come out all over the field near the 35-yard line. Yes. Start to the pass, holding on the defense number seven. That 10 yard penalty will be enforced from the previous spot and he carries an automatic first down. Marion Smith goes in motion. And off to Frazier. He's inside the 20 down to the 16-yard line. It's a gain of 10. And just a great four or five yards of carry. First down, dump it off near side. That pass is caught by Oscar. Dell turns the corner, dives for the pylon. Give him the touchdown. 17 yards for Mr. Delp and company. It's a foot race outside. Look at the fake. He just dips out and then right there, breaks a tackle, and then it's a foot race to the end zone, dives into, touches the pylon. And now that's three touchdowns in the last two weeks for the tight end. the point after. He has now made 106 over the middle last week. Keep it on the ground and kicked outside by Hester. He's down to the 50 and tripped up around the 46 by Dan Jackson, but another big. Left of the formation, a very big target. Wonder if they look for him in this play. Harrison will run it. He'll have the first down to the 36-yard line. That's a game. The framework of the body. A lot of things can happen, especially there in the trenches. Quick throw, wide open over the middle. Pass caught, first down. Missed tackles again. Three-man rush by Georgia. Harrison hit, and he will be dropped. Back at the 36-yard line. Out of field goal position, so they're going to have to punt it away on a very short field. Malachi Starks back there. See what he does here. They let that one go over his head, hit it to five, and 
It'll roll out of bounds around the team. Back going down the middle. Pass caught. Arian Smith inside the 30 down to the 28 yard line. Down. Personal yeah. foul roughing the passer on the defense. The will be added to the end of the run and it carries an automatic first down. Well, it totally missed that flag. It was 60 yards away <laughs> at the end of the play. But this was the play that got him down into UMass territory. And just a beautiful job in the slot, just running a little, little stick and go right to the right. Beck flushed out of the pocket. He will be dropped shy of the line to gain around the eight. Macklin Ayers making and a heck of a play down. for UMass. George has been really good on fourth downs this season at 76%. Pressure from UMass. Georgia sees it. They go to Cass Jones. Touchdown, Bulldogs. Eight yards out. And this was a great play. Just a point game. Here's Peyton Woodring. Point after. Is straight down the middle. Stick with the ground game. Hand off. Goes to Jalen. John Ball's loose, and Georgia says they have it. There's a scrum. Let's see. Waiting on a signal. Looks like Raylan Wilson popped on top of that football. And Georgia will have it. Well, Georgia got it. And it came from the Ruling edge. The field is a combo recovered by the defense. First down. Take another look at it, just coming off the edge, and it looks like Raylan Wilson popped it loose, and then the ball's right there in the open, and then he hops on it. So another look just right there from the side. Oh, no, I take that back. That was number four, K.J. Bolden, the front. <laughs> Legion of Doom, <laughs> spiked shoulder pads. First down and 10 for Georgia inside the 30. Good play fake from back across the middle. Pass is caught there. Lawson lucky inside the 15. A 14 yard game. Dose, and you've kind of seen it here early on in this game. Going toward the end zone. And what a catch in the end zone from Dominic Lovett. Over his shoulder. 15 yards. What a grab. On the throws, we take another look at it. And just beautiful back shoulder fade. One, two, holding it. Ball looks to be in possession. I don't see anything that would say any differently. Now, second angle. Well, the fumble set everything up. You know what are they looking for? He has a right to be right. Have him right. Pass caught over the middle. That is Jacoby Keene down in two. First down carry. Jalen John kicks it to the outside. Again in Georgia territory. Jersey, the, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Now the whole thing looks good. Yeah, yeah. it looks tough. Yeah. <laughs> Here's a third down and five. Harrison back in the game. Going to throw. Flag comes out the line of scrimmage. Incom incomplete pass. Illegal shift on the offense. Two players moving at the same time. That penalty is declined. Fourth down. Harrison trying to step up in the pocket, trying to break free. Does so. Going to run for it. First down, UMass. Georgia had him a couple of times. Bow, two headed monster for this Minutemen offense. Ninth play of this drive coming up. Oh, some miscommunication there. Haston trying to hand it off to. Jalen John, I, but Jalen John went the other direction. Warren Brinson go credit for the tackle. Based yeah. on your quarterback. And give it to him trying to pick up that first down. I don't know where they will spot his forward progress. First one there was. They went with a quick snap to Mazzotti, the tight end, and I think he's going to bulldoze his way for the first down. Appreciate the update, bud. It is first and goal. Pistol formation. Haston in at quarterback. He will give it 
to the running back Jalen John to the end zone. Touchdown UMass from three yards out. Play after the two minute timeout. Three yard touchdown with 155 to play. All right, two minute drill here for the Georgia offense. Now, they didn't have a problem moving the ball on their last drive. 208 yards of offense for UMass, 180 for Georgia. Back sees a hole to run through, and he will dive across the 40 out to the 42. That'll is caught inside the 40 to Cole Spear, his third catch. UMass bringing four, pump fake, back down the middle, has a man, touchdown, Arian Smith, 34 yards. Eight plays, 75 yards, only took a minute and 20. Right up here uh, at the top of the formation, and just watch the double move right there, right on the on the 25-yard line as he breaks and ducks his head, just clears the defensive back and the safety, and just splits them both. And then right there, nice pitch, catch, touchdown for Arian Smith and Carson Beck. Tennessee did that. And then just got in that fantastic rhythm. Where he finished up 21 of 28 high level. Georgia all told with 248 yards of offense. This one is returnable. Cash Jones, and Matthew Stafford did it once. I'd say that's pretty good company. That's pretty good college company right <laughs> yeah. there. <laughs> Big run here and tripped up. Phillips almost broke that one. Near side pass caught there by Smith. Smith down the near sideline, trying to cut it back to the middle, but slips. Another Georgia. Third down. Cash Jones to the left of Beck. He'll split out of the backfield. Beck goes the other way, high throw. It's incomplete. His long is 55. That came in the opener against Clemson. Good clean snap. Kick is on the way, and it is good. Wondering with a 53-yarder. They are eighth in the AP rankings, but that really doesn't matter much these days. It's all about the CFP. Going deep. That pass is caught. What a grab. Inbounds. Jacoby Keeney James. The play of the year for the Minutemen. Harrison, Dan Jackson in coverage. Walking, Harrison steps up and just throws a moonshot, and Jacoby Keeney James goes up over both of the defenders and then comes away with it and sprints to the end zone. This crowd is. Point after is good. Jacoby Keeney James. Next, they're getting some work today. Cash Jones has been in that mix, the red shirt junior. Frazier on that carry. We're talking to Carson Beck. Yesterday about the freshman and and even coaches Love it goes in motion. He'll run it near side Good strong run inside UMass territory now after the seven yard out team rep So he's been going against his number one defense for you know for Georgia in practice and said he, he look he, he makes wild plays against them So we should give him an opportunity in the game there's back, a little play fake over the middle. Pass is caught by Lovett. He is brought down inside the 40 at the 37. Was trying to figure out what he wanted to do with his college career. Here's Lucky with the first down catch. Amazing those, re those relationships. Handed off to Frazier. Hits the hole in a hurry and hits the goal line in a hurry. Nine-yard scamper for the true freshman out of Compton, California. Great play design and great running by Frazier. Point after is up and good, and Georgia's 
And another run blitz by UMass up in the A gap. And Frazier, when he makes the cut, cuts back outside to the B gap on the back side. And it was just a clear lane uh, for him. Gotta take one more look at it. Guy falls, runs up in the hole. Gar Jarrell Johnson is the one here venue. <laughs> a little bit. That pass is knocked down and incomplete. It'll be fourth down. Ty Ingram Dawkins able to bat that one to the turf. Here's Frazier. Frazier driving the pile. Nate Frazier, 5'10", 210 pounds, but certainly run a little bit bigger than that. Gain it. Four-man rush. Underneath to Cass Jones, he makes the catch, but let's see where they spot it. He might be about a yard shy. He had to get it to the 40, and they're actually going to put him at the 40 and a half. Georgia quickly to the line of scrimmage. Going to go for it. Cass Jones, handoff, second effort, first down at the 35. Pulse stopped a little bit. For Quick throw coming near side. Humphreys with the reception. He'll get it close to the 25, right on the 25. Brought down there by. Underneath route, caught, first down. Bulldogs, ball came free. They're going to say that Lovett was down. Lovett's third center. Quarterback keeper Carson Beck sticks his nose across the 15 and he'll have the first down. There you go, get under center and just grind it and whatnot. So first down at 10, Georgia. Frazier left side again, quick feet, touchdown. Peyton Woodring with the point after. I've been impressed with old Nate Frazier today, the youngster. Just, just a little outside zone. Nothing special, nothing to see here, except for number three getting into the end zone once again. Out of modern day high school, Compton, California, made his first start. Than it is right now afterwards. I mean, you played this game, you know what, you know what it's all about to go to Atlanta. Yeah. Oh, oh, how about this? Speaking of going to Atlanta, Jalen John may run all the way there. Chunk for UMass. And a big counter play that came right out the back door. Jalen Lay, the lead blocker. Jalen John makes one step in the hole back to the left. Quarterback. A lot of motion. Harrison keeps it. Met at the five and dropped there. Big hit from Everett again. To fight here. Trying to stick another one into the end zone. Second down and goal. Trying that shovel pass again, and they just can't seem to get it. Loose football. It's a mad scramble, and I think UMass will eight yard line. Keep it on the ground with John. He is inside the 20 down to the 19. Nine yard pickup. Small field goal attempt on the way. Jacob Lurie. 13 of 20 on the year. Good clean snap. That kick is on the way, and he missed it to the right again. He missed it to the right when he had a chance to win it against Liberty at the end of regulation last Saturday. Second down. Pass is caught there by Sakovi White. Kobe. It'll toss sweep. Frazier, big run out to midfield. Frazier up over 100 yards. In the way for the freshman. Chase Bowens. Chauncey Bowens, right side, and he'll be close to a first down. Chauncey at 220. If you're, if you're the Georgia Bulldogs, we we'll lead in that statistical category. Back going up top, far sideline. That one's batted away at the last moment. They were trying to hit London Humphreys. Lake Ellis was. 
Ariston. Boy, has a lot of time to throw, and that one's incomplete. Three red jerseys hovering around Jacoby Keeney James. Malachi Starks back to return this punt. He will field it, throw the defender off, break a tackle, and hey, he's got some room to the near side. Malachi Starks turns the corner. And he's out over the 40. What a return by Starks. Just Mr. Everything. Ah, get off of there. All right, let's go back to the right, guys. Okay, I'm just going to stiff arm three different guys, shake it to the outside, side swipe that guy as well. Cash, uh, Cash okay. Jones giving some direction. It'll be okay. You'll get your shot. Underneath pass to the tight end. Yerosik makes the catch. That'll be a first down for the. Stockton on the run, pass caught underneath. That one goes to Lawson. Lucky he is inside the 30, close to the 25 yard. Came out the Georgia center. Drew Bobo in there taking the snaps now. Here's Frazier, almost broke a tackle, stopped at the 15. Good open field stop by Lake Ellis, or that would have been six for the dogs. Ten more yards. Georgia hurry up offense. Handoff, Frazier, touchdown, Georgia. It's timeout. And he does a nice job. And we'll drink. And just a dive play up the middle. Big boys up the middle doing it. We'll be back with more. Wing guy, I was, I, was, I was a little stink nosed freshman. But you got some run, though, as a freshman, right? Yeah, I did. I played the Vanderbilt game. Oh, big hit. Nice stick on the edge there. Justin Williams, one of those fresh. Fourth down and short for UMass. Try to get a little push from the backfield. They'll pick up the first down. Harrison getting a majority today. Uh, Haston being the other quarterback. Loose football picked up by the Dogs. There goes Chris Cole, touchdown Bulldogs, 24 yards. The turnover pads there for Chris Cole. From Virginia. Yep, Chris Cole right there. Comes in off the edge and then as he's coming through everything, boom, just comes over the top. Ball just pops up perfectly for him as he's with the loss against the Gators. No change. It's going to change a little bit more, and I think even after next week, with all those rivalry games that are coming. Fashion hate next week for the Dogs. Trying to wrap up the regular season with a win and let the cards fall where they may. SEC championship game, perhaps. Some things got to happen. And then the college football playoff. With the dogs putting themselves in fine position to make the field of 12. A 59 21 victory for Georgia. UMass will drop to 2 and 9. The dogs 9 and 2. Jane Montgomery and Kirby Smart with a hug at midfield. But a good win for Georgia. And next week gets serious all over again. So for my partners, Max Starks, Ashley Shamady, I'm Dave Neal saying so long from Athens, Georgia. Time to get to the studio in Dari Noka.